Okay, chem guy, what is that chicken scratch on the board? Well, it's an organic compound that's going to require a name. So, okay, now don't get intimidated, but there is a way to be able to go through that and identify this and give it a proper organic chemistry type of name. So, watch. The first thing you want to do is identify, again, the longest continuous chain of carbon. So, where is that longest chain? Well, if we start here and we go across. I always like to start from left to right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like it's going to be seven. Now, I could have started here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would have been fine too. Let's stick with that original way there. And the seven means that it's going to be a hept. And because these are all single bonds here, this is going to be a heptane. Now, since this is the longest continuous chain of carbons, this, 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 and this whole thing here are all branches off of that chain. So now, what do we do with these branches? Well, we've got to name them. And first of all, we can see that there are three one carbon branches. That line leads to just one carbon there. But this carbon branch here happens to be a two carbon branch because it's got one, two, one, two carbons that are present there. So we've got a methyl branch and well, we've got a few methyl branches, three of them in fact, and we've got an ethyl branch. So now how do we actually name this? Well, here's where we got to go from here. We got to say, okay, do we go and name the branches in terms of numbering from left to right or right to left? Well, what gives us the lowest numbers possible? If we go this way here, then the branches are going to be on the three then the five, and there's another branch on the five, so there's one on the three, two on the fives, and then one on the sixth carbon. And you know what? If we go in the other direction, that's going to be the two, three, three, five. And two, three, three, five is going to be lower than the way that we just described here with the three, uh, five, six, right? <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to go this way in terms of naming because what we want to do is identify the lowest number for the branches possible. It doesn't matter where the methyls or the ethyls are located and which one is more complex there because it doesn't matter. What matters is the lowest numbers possible for those branches. Okay, so that means then that since ethyl is before methyl alphabetically, we're going to put the ethyl first and so the ethyl is at the, oh, going this way, remember? So that's the first, second, third, fourth, fifth carbon right there. So it's going to be a 5-ethyl. And then the methyls are on the what? The second and the third and the third carbon. So that's 2, 3, 3. And that's a trimethyl heptane. And the reason, of course, that ethyl comes before the methyls is it's alphabetical. It's not, by the way, that, that, that E become, comes before T because the tri, that multiplier in front, doesn't count alphabetically, right? So the name for that chemical right there is 5 ethyl 233 trimethyl heptane. Blah. Okay. Now, there's something else that I wanted to mention, too. And, and what you'll uh, uh, be asked sometimes is to do, identify a certain series of chemicals as a homologous series. Now, what does that mean? Well, it's really simple to understand. Um, what's this? This is methane. C2H6 is ethane. C3H8 is propane. These are all saturated molecules of organic chemistry. <laughs> They're called alkanes, and we are ascending here from uh, one carbon to two to three, and they're all in the same family or group, and that's called a homologous series. Homo meaning the same, and logos meaning log. No, actually, it kind of means ratio or, or, um, or proportion or something like that. So the idea is it's the same ratio, the same naming, really, is what it is. So this is a homologous series of hydrocarbons called alkanes. Another homologous series could be something like if you had um, CH3OH and then C2H5OH, dot, 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 that's methanol, then ethanol, and then you could have uh, uh, propan 1-ol uh, and propan 2-ol, that's coming up later. That's a series of 
alcohols, a homologous series because it's the same family that these guys belong to and we're just talking about them in ascending order of carbons. Homologous series.